Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields with your winter outlook where the biggest snow is going to be, where we're going to see those tornado outbreaks, where it's going to be too dry and also too wet in this El Nino winter. We're going to have some really big events and I want to get very specific for you where they are going to be this winter. Now we're in an El Nino. We're locked into that right now. You can see here, these are the water temperatures versus average, well above average right in kind of the El Nino sector that we're seeing. And when you have this and you have an El Nino, it affects everything that's going on around the world. Now, probability of an El Nino, 100%. We have it now. It's going to stick around. This is over time. November, December, January, probability 100% chance. December, uh, moving forward, February, March, even into early in the spring, into next summer, we're going to still have the effects of an El Nino. So we have that. Well, what does that mean? And where is the worst weather going to be? Now, global look real quickly here for you. And then I'm going to dive into the Caribbean. I'm going to get into uh, the United States and parts of Canada for you. Now you get toward India, warmer than average, drier and warm. South Africa, we work our way into South America. Northern tier, it is going to be drier and hotter than average. Now let me get a little bit closer. In the Caribbean, it is going to be split. North versus South, big difference this winter because of El Nino. Northern tier, you get back through the Bahamas, Cuba, down through Belize, over toward my friends in Jamaica, right over toward Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, uh, Antigua and Barbuda. It is gonna be wetter than average. Now, it's still a dry season, so we're not gonna have a ton of rain, but above average rain, important, especially when some of the cisterns run dry as we get deeper into the uh, winter and for agricultural reasons. And again, it's not gonna to be too cool, but just below average average temperature. Southern zones, you get back toward Dominica South, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, uh, watching over toward uh, Martinique, uh, Grenada, Trinidad, drier and hotter. Trinidad and Tobago, it is going to be a hot winter. Back through Guyana, Suriname, and again, northern sections of South America, drier and hotter than average, including Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, back through Venezuela and Colombia. Now, to the north, let's swing back toward the United States. I mentioned the Northern Caribbean wetter than average, and that's gonna be the same case right around there as we get toward the Southern United States. Above average precipitation, this is really going to tie into the tornado outbreaks that are coming this winter. Northern sections, Pacific Northwest, back toward uh, the Great Lakes, below average precipitation, and that includes up toward Southern Canada below average precipitation. It's also gonna be a little bit warmer uh, than uh, typical as you get into Southern Canada, Pacific Northwest, back toward uh, the Great Lakes, over toward New England. Southern sections, pretty equal chances throughout really much of the uh, rest of the United States, above average as far as temperatures are concerned. Again, Canada, back through Alaska. Now, here's where it gets interesting with where the big snows will be and where the worst weather is gonna be. With an El Nino in the winter, a very, very, aggressive southern jet stream. That's why it's going to be wet, wetter southern United States, parts of Mexico, and into the northern Caribbean. But along this, severe weather outbreaks are likely. I've been doing this for a while, and over the last few decades, strong El Ninos bring these tornado outbreaks. Florida in particular, we're going to be watching out for that. But in this area here, Along the storm, uh, strong jet, we're going to have that potential of tornado outbreaks. Watching Alabama, Mississippi, uh, Georgia, Florida, even parts of South Carolina, Florida in particular, tornado outbreaks are going to be possible as we work our way into the winter with these bigger systems that kind of move across and then move off of the coast. Now, they may actually get enhanced this year. Now, coming off of summer into fall, water temperatures well above average. Of course, they're always warm in the summer, but this summer, they were running well above average. That's why even though it was an El Nino, we had more named storms than uh, typical. El Nino usually means a quieter hurricane season. It was above average, and this is why water temperatures were so very warm. Still 29, 30, 31 degrees uh, Celsius, mid 80s Fahrenheit. Yeah, they're going to cool down in the uh, winter, but they're going to stay above average. That just kind of enhances things. So what does that mean? Well, again, I mentioned the severe weather outbreaks. What about the big snows? Mid-Atlantic, can't stress this enough, right around DC, uh, Virginia, Maryland, you swing back through Delmarva, so you're looking at uh, Delaware as a whole. Philadelphia, the possibility of some really big snows, and then into uh, parts of New Jersey. These systems that kind of come across here can kind of build off of the coast, and yeah, be enhanced by the extra warm water uh, as we go through the winter, kind of spin up as nor'easters, and either kind of move off toward Bermuda or lift up to the north. That also means the Atlantic region of Canada, it is going to be windy 
here. We're going to have some storms moving in, of course, as we work our way into the winter. We often do, but the big snows right here, these will build off of the coast, throwing a lot of moisture into the mid-Atlantic, and then some of that colder air wrapping in. Big time snows right here. That's going to happen at least one or two blizzards coming for the mid-Atlantic this winter. So again, the Caribbean, north versus south. North wetter, a little bit cooler. Southern zones, very dry, very hot. We'll be watching out for the wildfire threat as well. Southern uh, jet, Southern US, we're going to see that aggressive jet watching out for the potential tornado outbreaks in Florida. The Eastern US watching out for that snow potential with nor'easters, but in particular, the mid-Atlantic and the Atlantic region of Canada as some of those systems build up along the coast. That is going to bring some windier weather and, of course, some blizzard-like conditions as well over towards, say, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island in Newfoundland. So uh, that's how it stands this winter. We're going to have a lot of things to track. I'll do my best to keep you posted. Thank you for subscribing and sharing this channel, and have a good rest of your day.